Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to use match and index function in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, I have few data here, employee name, login hours, AST, call handle, and in the last we have the employee ID. First, let me explain you what is the use of index function. Index function return the value according to the row number and the column number we provide inside the index function. Let me show you if I will use here index function just type here index and then let's click on this question mark then you will see the syntax here so we will select first reference so let's say we are selecting this range first we will provide the row number so let's say we are providing row number 4 comma column number we are providing 1 so the first column is we can see employee name if I will enter we are getting here on row number 4 column number 1 we have Raj here okay so it is returning accordingly if I will put here let's say column number 2 and row number 4 then we are getting this number 7.3 so we can see here on row number 4 and column number 2 we have 7.3 that is how we use the index function now how we can use the index and match function together we can dynamically change the number like 4 and 2 using the match function let me show you how the match function works let's say we have a name here let me put the name here let's say Raj and I want to get the number of row on which row we have this name Raj so we can use the match function here use match then search key just use Raj comma range we can select this range we want to search in this range okay comma for the exact match put 0 and just close the bracket so we are getting here 4 so it will return 4 if I will type here let's say pk then it is returning 2 because we have pk on row number 2 all right friends so that is how we use the match function match function works in the rows as well as in the columns let me show you let's say if i'll type here ast and if i will use here match function and search key let's take this ast i want to search in this range horizontal range from a1 to e1 put 0 and close the bracket so we can see ast is on number 3 1 2 3 okay if i will put here employee name in place of ast then i will get one because employee name is on first position so that is how we use the match function and index function now what is the use of match and index function together let me show you the example let's say here we have the employee id and we need the employee name login hours ast and call handled we can use here match and index function we can't use the vlookup function because we have employee id here okay either we will use the xlookup i will explain you xlookup in other video but here we will use the index function so use the index and let's select this range okay just freeze this press f4 comma row number so we want to match with the employee id so i'll use here match function rather than putting the direct row number so match will return dynamically okay so let's take this search key this one comma and put the dollar sign before the a comma select this range we want to match from this employee id just freeze this comma zero and just close the bracket first of all we need employee name so we can put here one and just close the bracket so we are getting the employee name here if i will copy and paste here we need login hours so we can put here two okay so we are getting the login hours and copy paste same formula and here you can put the 3 and let's put here 4 okay so either we can put in this way and we are getting these value or we can use the column function also here and let's take the reference of column a any reference and just close the bracket and just hit the enter so we are getting the same paste the same formula everywhere so we don't need to put 1 to 3 manually all right friend now i will show you how you can use the index function with double match now let's say here i am putting login hours and here i am putting ast 
then this data is incorrect because it is still returning the login hours and it is EST. If you will change the header, it will not be changed. It is not returning the correct result. And because of this column number, because it is taking in the proper sequence, but we have exchanged the columns. So now in this case, how it will work, let me show you. Let's copy this and let's paste here and I will show you how it will work. And let's change this again and let's take here EST. So we will use the index function with the double match. First we will match the employee ID, then we will match the header also. So let's use the index function and select the range on the top, this one. Freeze this, press F4, comma. To get the row number, we will use first match. And in the first match, the search key will be this employee ID and put the dollar sign before A. Range, we will select this range wherein we want to search the employee ID, press F4 to freeze this comma 0 and just close the bracket. Put another comma and use the match function, another match function and this time we will search the header and the search key we will take the header here. So let's take this employee name here and put the dollar before 25 here, comma. Let's select the header of the top table, this one, and press F4 to freeze this, comma, 0, and just close the bracket, and close the index bracket also, and just hit the enter. We are getting the name here, and just fill this down using Control D, and select all, and fill the right, Control R. We are getting the values here. If I will type here AST, then I will get the AST here automatically, okay? So now it is checking the header name, and then it is returning the value. Alright friends, so that is how we can use the index and match function together and index and double match function together also. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.